It's just some uh, people you can't bring to the party. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know what this I was waiting for. The How did this one? even come about? Who called who? Oh, uh, yeah, Pluto. Pluto wow. called me. I went to the studio, laid that, and then we, um, you know, went through the, you know, the creative process, adding the chords, and called the hooligans. Oh. Called them out in London to get on a joint. You know, everybody was very, very excited about the elimination of Drake. Yo, cool. we not excited. We was energized. Some niggas can't get a wristband. <laughs> Facts. Bottle section ain't for everybody. <clears throat> the line was too long. <laughs> Yo, sometimes your man can't get in. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is this is this is bad. Nasty. This is very bad for that other side. Yeah. Okay, this is me just speaking as a, as a rap fan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> to have somebody literally be in that studio space, right? Mind you, I also want to highlight what I'm saying. Uh, what we just played for you is uh, an excerpt from, it looks like to be Justin LaBoy, who is uh, uh, America's favorite uh, me- memer. It Alex looks- fucking hates that man. <laughs> AKA my arch nemesis. <laughs> <clears throat> um, he said this like for three years yeah. and like, I'll say it really quickly I think he single handedly killed our culture with his memes fuck it I'm mad serious I guess anyway I know he be stealing them shits I, I could, I'm I hating could, hard right I now. could combat on that but I want you to keep cooking go ahead nah nah I just I, I, just, I just feel like he has a lot of say with the people in our culture and how they view memes, how to digest me. The thing, the fucked up part about it is so subconscious, we don't even realize. I'm sorry for getting deep on y'all because I was trying to be funny. Nah, you good, bro. Okay, but anyway, it looks like Justin LaBoy is stepping into the pod. <laughs> that was so supportive. <laughs> yeah, salute. The crasher, you like this. That's my guy. But it looks like, keep going. <laughs> keep going, keep it going. It looks like uh, Justin LaBoy has entered the podcast space. It looks, uh, the name of his shit is called The Download. The Download. Yeah. And this is an excerpt from his interview with Kanye West. Uh, this interview was very difficult to find. <laughs> there are now leaks on Twitter and on YouTube, but originally this was released through the Yeezy website, and he wanted you to cop something for $20 to watch the interview. <laughs> hey, man, I ain't mad at it. Get your money on, get your money. Now, as far as Metro Boomin, Future, Kendrick Lamar, everyone else on that side, Rick Ross, I'm forgetting, it's mad niggas now. Yeah, it's a civil it's, war. It's yeah, a civil war fast. now. This doesn't look good on that end at all. <laughs> At all. That's why you got to be the talkative nigga at home. <laughs> the niggas that talk too much, I don't have them around me. What? Name, name some dudes you seen talk too much around me. I'll nah, wait. Nah, you right. They, they gonna <laughs> fuck up the party. Them niggas that talk too much gonna that fuck. That is your Alex's friends just be chill as fuck. <laughs> they don't fact. talk too much. Because once you get to talking too much, people know your plans. Yeah. People know your intentions. Right? And if they play in the art of war, oh man, this was, this was a bomb. <laughs> It, 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 almost, it almost seemed random. Like, I was gent- similar to you. I was mad. I'm like, Kanye, what are you doing? Now, <laughs> to reference also what he's saying, say, Vaughn, say what you're saying. I'm, I'm just tired. I, I, I'm, 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 over, I'm over Kanye, bro. I'm over Kanye, bro. <sighs> I don't care no more. Like, he doesn't make me care. And, and, and I feel you. it's one of those things where, what have you done for me lately? I hate to be that. And I hate to say that to Kanye, one of our greats. I think he, like, we don't put in perspective just how great and how much he's contributed to us. Nah, he don't. Because of the bullshit that he is doing <laughs> lately. Like, for real, like. Nah, he don't. I don't give a fuck about anything you're saying for multiple reasons. Yeah. Not only do I think what you're saying is contradicting what you've been and who you've been yeah. for your career, but I also think. The music is ass. I also think the clothing has been ass. Like nothing about you is is hot right now. Where is God? Like, I, oh my, it's God. all gone. I was thinking that <laughs> while I was watching, <laughs> yo, bro. While I was watching that, I'm I heard you saying that because he was referencing the Kanye was referencing uh, himself to being God. Where is God? Yeah, he keeps saying like, God. Too. I know this ain't the same dude from four years ago, is, right? Is it, With is the it, Sunday services, and right? And not just God, because I want to be <laughs> specific. Because God? I also talk like, yeah. I, I'm very conscious of the way that people weaponize religion, beliefs, mm-hmm. and the word God, right? Mm-hmm. I think there are a multitude of quote unquote gods, and I think anything can serve as a God, which is why when people get on stage and they accept their awards or they say a speech and they say, hey, shout out to God. I always look at that with my third eye open because your God could be completely different from my God, right? The person that you serve, the person that you worship, the person that you believe in can be completely opposite of what it is that I believe in, what I stand for. So when people just say God, I'm very wary because I know a lot of people serve different 
things. But he named the album Jesus is King. And that's what I was going to go to. <laughs> the next step was Jesus, right? Yeah. Because God is one yeah. person who, or, or one, one entity, entity yeah. that can represent a multitude of things, right? Sure. Money can be God to somebody. Mm hmm Literally, I like, can yeah. serve money, like whatever it is that you serve can be God. But then when you get into specifics, like a Jesus who was uh, uh, the son of God in certain religions, it, 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 it narrows it down to a specific religion and belief system, right? Yeah. Whereas Kanye, he did that. He didn't just say God, because again, there's a lot of people who serve God. I don't want to be conspiracy, man. But a lot of your big faves, your big, 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 big faves will get on stage and they will say thank you to God and their God will be the devil. But we ain't going to talk about that. Kanye in particular, he goes into Jesus specifically. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So when you say, oh, where's you God? Science, right. I'm thinking, yeah. oh, wait. So now it's not only, let's, let's remove God, the entity. The all, the all being. Let's get back to it's Jesus. Like doing the science, yeah. He ain't even talking about no Jesus no more. Yeah. It's all gone. And so when you push something the way that you did, yeah, where Jesus you name the album, all of that, I can't take anything that you say mm -hmm. for fact, for real, for anything. And then when you sit next to, and Alex, you're my brother. Yeah. Since we started this podcast, there's yeah. been a few people that you've hated yeah. and you have stood 10 toes down on hating. Yeah. You're very consistent. One of them I don't agree with, mm. which is Michael Blackson, but I understand. Yeah, I hate oh. you, nigga. Oh my God. <laughs> Ain't that family? It's his accent. The one is not true. It's That's not racist? true. My fault. The way he talk is not true. That's why I don't like him. And number two has been Justin LeBoy. Yes. And at first, when you said Justin Beloit, uh, LaBoy. Yeah, he got one of them <laughs> fucked Beloit. up names. That's okay. He got one of them fucked up names. It's Justin, hard. He said Justin Beloit. LaBoy. Yeah. Justin Beloit. Yeah, yeah. A few years ago. I didn't understand it because he was he was faceless. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. He, he just was a meme. He was a page. And I thought it was just lighthearted. I'm like, all right, it's fun. It's cool. It's relatable. It's trendy. Going back to that word trendy. That's what Justin LaBoy was. Until he wasn't. Mm -hmm. And now that we're here and we see him and we hear him, and I he 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 is the definition of a pawn, right? Yeah. I can a, agree with you on that. He's a pawn. I can agree with That's you what on you're that. Saying. He, he, I can definitely agree Ooh, with you on that. Can I just jump yeah, in right there? Yeah. So when you said pawn, I think about okay, this is some I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying this, but who cares? Who's gonna stop me? So like <laughs> there's there's a lot of like actual confirmation that like Kanye has been dying to get just like a big interview lately to like get his shit off. Yes. And a lot of people, some people we know, literally the three of us know in real life, like have had an opportunity to have this big Kanye interview. Mm -hmm. But so many people have turned it down because like mad people are like, no, I turned it down. I got the opportunity. I turned it down. This this magazine said we turned it down like because like. Because of all the crazy shit he was planning to say, and he wants to control the entire interview. So that's right. that's what made me think about like Justin Leboy as a pawn because he's the only one that said yes to this shit. And, and and he would just he's like, okay, fine, use me however you fucking want. Absolutely. And yeah. Justin Leboy has gotten very close to Kanye over the years. For those of you that don't know, this isn't a random link up. They are very close. Yeah. At least three, four years going on now. I remember the pandemic. Yeah. Well, I don't even know if they're close. I just or think it look like it, that yeah. it's an exchange. I think sure, it's transactional. Sure, sure. I think that. Kanye, he's so out of touch that he believes that Justin LaBoy moves the needle. He believes that Justin LaBoy, uh, well, and I can't even hold say on, his name. Hold on, hold on. Let's talk a little bit. He, he I, believes that he bit. has influence. Let's talk a little bit. As a personality, as an interviewee. Not even just that. It's just I think I think he went too far. I think he just sees Justin LaBoy as influence. How many times a day do you see a Justin LaBoy meme? Yeah. Without even thinking. He's I got, see it quite often. Yeah. I Not, probably see a Justin LaBoy meme every... I don't even follow him. Mm -hmm. But the mm -hmm. people I keep up with... They fucking keep reposting that shit. Constantly. Some of it is good. Yeah. I was gonna say. Some of it is relatable. But, if we were to remove his name, yeah. we were about good to remove though. his account and just say some of... And I'm not saying all. Yeah. But some of the shit, I'd be like, oh shit, that's dope. And then I see his name yeah. and it has the stench on it. <laughs> and it's like, oh, I can't. I yeah. cannot Talk repost about my like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I understand understand exactly what you're saying but yeah. i think there's the brand of that name on instagram uh -huh. it's not him okay. no it's not him that we look at like oh my god i want to hear from this guy the brand of justin laboy mm -hmm. you're saying it's the brand it's the name it's the instagram and account. i think kanye understands that as well yeah. right he's, yeah. got yeah. he's, 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 got he's got an audience he's got an audience bro it's 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 what academics has been able to do successfully 
which is academic was a, a page that covered hip hop. We didn't know what he truly looked like. I don't know if y'all remember, but I go back to the time where academics was just an animated kind of picture yeah. of being it was a just DJ. Videos running. That mm -hmm. you, we as didn't he spoke. see him. Yeah. And then once he got into the camera, he learned how to transition into a, a personality. <laughs> right? Like, it's no longer the academics page that I care about. It's him. I care about what he has to say. Yeah. Whereas Justin LaBoy, we, we've we never cared about what you say. One, you aren't reporting anything. Two, nothing that you say is informative. Three, and so now when I see you, I don't associate you with anything that's of substance. Because nothing about you has been of substance. Hey, so yeah. when I see you with Kanye West... yes. It up. does nothing for me after yeah. just being in the deal with Diddy. Yeah. Well, on Revolt. Damn. He on did Revolt. have a Revolt deal yeah. with on Justin LeBoy. You're right. Hear me out though, right? The group of us here are detached from Justin LeBoy. You're right. We don't see him as anything credible. We don't see him as anything like, dog, I know people, bro. And I'm, I'm not trying to gauge it off of 10 people, 20 people. I'm talking in the hundreds. The way they look at his page, bro, every day. How they repost, how they speak to him personally in the comments. Like, they really do feel like they know, respect, and love that brand. Even when he do crash, even when he says memes that are going against the people in the comments, they still love it. And again, I'd be so disappointed. Yeah. I'd, I'd be sitting there like, I'd be like, wow. girl, I'd be like, girl, this shit is not funny. Stop <laughs> fucking reposting this. They be like, weak. I'm like, yo, but, you're but some of it 30. Is. Like, Dude, some of it is. It's and that's the thing. Yeah. And again, it's his name, it's the name that allows us to be like it's not lit or it's not funny because yeah. some of it genuinely is kind of funny no, oh, shit, shit everything's up. subjective and when you look at the comments people are relating to wow like this is actually true yes i think that's what keeps the ding 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 going. i love that you said that and mm -hmm. i think kanye understands that exactly. amount of relation yep you're right though we don't see him as an elliot wilson we don't see him as mm -hmm. our peers or anything like that but what the crowd views it as, I think, is what Kanye's paying attention to. Kanye's star just shines so bright that anything or anybody that he sits next to is going to get highlighted. But Justin LeBoy wasn't equipped to sit down with the Kanye West <laughs> in this space right now. Not at all. Nah, not like, respectfully. He, he just wasn't equipped for it. He doesn't have the nuance. He doesn't have the skills, the, 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 the experience. He doesn't have the history. Like somebody that's sitting down with a Kanye West, you need to have lived in that time period of Kanye coming up till now, mm -hmm. or you need to have actual skills. L Justin LeBoy, he's somebody. in our age range though. He, he's, he's familiar with. But him. Justin yeah. LeBoy, he's. Are he's, you defending this nigga? No, I'm not defending. Him. That's my op. <laughs> nah, what I, was you saying? I'm <laughs> always gonna keep. Like, why are you even mentioning no, 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 that that's to my me? Then? But you know me. I gotta keep it hundred. I gotta keep it real, like how I did with Drake and Kendrick. But him being in our age range does nothing for being. But what equipped I'm equipped to interview in a Kanye West. Not that side. I'm talking about the other side you mentioned. Whereas, like, he did grow up with him the same way we did. Yeah, he is familiar uh, with God. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I, so, I think. Uh, I think in the interview he was saying, uh, I forgot the age, but he he basically said that. He would listen to Kanye when he was younger. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, so we're all in the same age range. Like, I don't want to not ever hear from you and not ever see you. And then the next time or the only time I see you is next to one of our greats. I really do think it's literally that sad that everyone is saying no to a Kanye interview and the only one who fucking do it is Justin LeBoy. It says a lot. That's the times that we're in. Like, that really says a lot. It says a lot. That's why we're seeing him all of a sudden because he's yeah. the only one that will say yes. 